name is Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big oh. red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford! He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. They're to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lee. Hey. <laughs> it's Clifford. Huh? Oh. <laughs> He's using that tree to scratch a very big itch. <laughs> what other kind of itch would Clifford have? Hmm? Yes, he does. <laughs> Maybe he should see Dr. Din, the new vet. Mm -hmm. Right. If he keeps on scratching, we'll take him to see the vet. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! The giant seaweed monster has me in his evil clutches! Someone save me! Never fear! Super T-Bone is here! to the new vet, but I've never been before. But it doesn't sound like fun. You know what I heard? I heard that the new vet and the groomer are best friends. And you know I don't like the groomer. Trust me. You do not want to go to the vet. Well, if Emily doesn't see me scratch, she won't take me to the vet. So all I have to do is stop scratching. Exactly. Or you could just go to the vet. Remember, don't let Emily see you scratch. Hi, Clifford. I was just going to the library. Do you want to come? Whoa, whoa. Hi there, Cleo, T-Bone. <laughs> so, how's that itching, boy? <laughs> oh, 
I just scratch a little bit, Cleo? No, Clifford. Emily will be coming out of the library any second now. But I'm so, 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 so itchy. Oh! No! Clifford, no! <laughs> so, Clifford's waiting outside for you, is he? He seems to have a little itching problem today. Uh -huh. Clifford, are you itching again? Why were you rolling like that? You were all just playing. Are you sure you're not itchy? Woof. Come on, let's go home. <coughs> so, Emily, is Clifford still itchy? No, Samuel. I haven't seen him scratch all day. You're causing a tidal wave. It's time to go to the vet, Clifford. <coughs> She'll make you feel much better. You'll see. Poor Clifford. Down at the vet's surgery all alone. He's not alone. Emily's with him. And Emily would never let anyone hurt Clifford. It's going to be okay, boy. Really? Well, this must be Clifford. Okay, Clifford, she's going to make you feel better. Goodness, you are a big dog. I've just moved here myself, and I've been looking forward to meeting you. Emily tells me that you've been really itchy. I just want to take a quick look. May I? He seems to have a rash. Is that bad? Nothing a little cream can't fix. Well, it's going to take a lot of cream to cover Clifford's back. True, but I think I know how we can do this. What's going on down there? What are they doing to him? Well, Cleo, maybe they're just stopping his itch. I can't take it anymore. I just have to see for myself. Okay, bring it in. We'll take care of this once and for all. Oh, that can't be good. What are they doing to Clifford? Okay, that's good. <sighs> Uh, 
<laughs> I think he likes it, Cleo. His tail certainly does. Thank you so much for helping, Clifford. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've made a friend for life. <laughs> Dr. Din is a great vet, isn't she? Aren't you glad we went to see her? <laughs> I know you were a bit scared. I was a little scared the first time I went to the doctor, too. But doctors are there to help us, just like Dr. Din helped you. And I always want to take good care of you, because you're Clifford, my big red dog. Next on Tiny Pop, Mickey's Adventures, big and small.